Okay, this is the review video. So I just went over four of my matches with Jarvis. Uh, so I just want to give a quick summary. So I played in the showcase challenge on Sunday. Uh, I went six and two, which is a very good result. Unfortunately, I didn't make a top eight because I had two bad breakers. But I'm super. I'm happy with a 6-2 result. And you can see I I won against Delver three times. I, play, I kind of played against the decks that I expected, right? Doomsday Delver, a graveyard deck, a control deck. Maybe not exactly the one I expected, but still. Moon Stompy, a Chalice deck. This could have been 8 cost, but I'd rather play against Moon Stompy, I think. Green White Depths. Uh, and kind of my idea with the deck that I played was to say I, I win against all the fair decks, so let's focus on, on my bad matchups in the main and play, I play like Endurance main. I still lost against Doomsday. I think I could have won with some better play from my side, but that's interesting. I did also win against all the fair, except the control, but this is also a tough matchup, I think. This is not your normal control deck. Uh, so overall, I think I'm happy with the list. I would probably do a few changes. I would probably do like three endurance main and, and non non no reclaimers. Uh, okay, so that's kind of the uh, and then we we did. Um, go to my schedule here uh, so we did a recap I think there came out some really good things I'm gonna write them down like uh, Jarvis tips so the first one don't don't underestimate my opponent I think this was something that we saw a pattern that I do tend to do is to make plays where I try to set it up so that my opponent can make a mis mistake and misplay. Kind of trick them or get them. But I think that's... Uh, I think I do that way too often. And also, uh, sometimes I do it uh, where, where my kind of place doesn't make sense, in a sense. Uh, and I can get tricked uh, or punished for it. So that's something that I definitely will will think about going forward. Just be mindful that if I end up in a situation where I say, okay, now I'm going to trick my opponent to do this, then I, need, I will step up and say, hey, don't underestimate, underestimate my opponent. Can I play in a better way? Like, don't give them options. That was my... Don't give them options to trick me. I guess that was... Or to outplay me. I guess that was really the... Uh, Conclusion, and then we have the other one is stop up and think. And how how can, how can because this is another thing, and this is something I know I knew already before. But I have this. I play a lot on intuition, and then when when I draw something that changes how I should, like I get a new option. Say uh, I can miss that sometime because I'm stuck in, in my head. I'm stuck with my my other strategy or direction and I think this one was a good tip there from Jarvis was just like yeah just say say it out loud every time I draw a card just say it out loud like what can I do now what has changed what has, what has changed since last turn uh, if you say it out loud you you that might help your brain to kind of force you into uh, into stopping up and thinking, kind of. Say it out loud. What has changed? So this, so this is kind of, a, I have two things that I will work on, on my gameplay. Uh, I'm happy with my list. So, uh, this was the review. 
this was for this week, yeah, so this makes sense, yeah. So I'm happy with my list. I got some things to work on with my gameplay. Uh, but overall, we're on a good track, I think. So, so thanks for watching.